Plastics is a manufacturing uh, recycling facility. Uh, we take high density polyethylene plastics, which is your number two plastics. So uh, anything from milk jugs to water bottle caps. We grind everything up here at our facility and we make beautiful outdoor furniture that you can see behind me. We have a melting point and from that melting point we actually extrude plastic lumber. Uh, and from that plastic lumber is where you actually get the fish. Uh, the plastic lumber that we have, it then goes to um, your facility, a CNC machine, where they actually cut the fish. Now, the plastic lumber that we have is actually sustainable for 25 years, and we have a 25-year warranty on our lumber. And after that point, if you ever need to recycle it back into uh, the system, we have an ability here to regrind everything and remake it into more plastic lumber. So it is a closed loop cycle that way. When uh, we receive the raw materials in plank form from CR Plastics, uh, we bring in X number of planks to be able to make a, an order. Usually our, our orders are about 2,500 fish. And each plank um, produces uh, 20 of these fish pieces um, in 13 different um, styles of fish. And so uh, we then take uh, these once they've been cut out by the CNC machine to the bandsaw and we we cut them down the length um, And that creates two fish from one piece here This completed fish from our process then goes on to Upper Thames Conservation Authority uh, to take to the schools The next step in this fish's journey is we're going to run the stream of dreams program at the school so after the students go and do the stream talk, then they come to the paint room and each student is going to have a recycled fish to paint and it's going to represent their dream of a healthy environment. Each student will paint a fish with their own designs. All the fish will go on the fence and be one large piece of community art where everybody who walks by or drives by can be reminded that we all need to take care of our fish and where they live.